Echo Fan Grey Wolf here. Welcome to Comfy Avid number two. I'm going to explain this is my last day, versions one and two and three. Now versions two and three get really hardcore, so you're probably worried. Don't be. We're good. I wrote these songs because there are one thousand people in this world that contemplate suicide every day. And they contemplate it by way of firearm because they also think that it's going to be faster and it is going to end their life and that they're going to unalive themselves and it's going to be over. Okay, well, there have been cases where there have been successes. But there have been cases where there have been failures. Understand how important your life is. All right. Regardless of what those songs said, I'm good. I understand how important my life is. You know why? Because I have friends. I have friends on TikTok. I have friends here on Instagram. I have friends on YouTube. I have friends on Twitter that won't see me because my Twitter has been banned or suspended or something. On my Instagram, my Facebook, my YouTube, you guys keep me alive. And I thank you every fucking day. Even when I don't make enough thank you videos, you need to know that I thank you. The song Last Day, because no one knows when their last day is going to be other than the person who is going to take their life. Now, they also don't know if it's going to be their last day because some people have survived gunshots to the head. They aren't the same, but they have survived them. Some of them have survived and, and miraculously are fine. This is not a promotion for that shit. If you think for New York Minute, that you are going to unalive yourself any day of the week. There is nothing wrong with you getting help. There's nothing wrong with you reaching out and getting help. For the love of God, reach out and get help. You are going to have days. You are going to have days. I have days. Trust me when I tell you. There's no one better to give you this right here, right now, than me. I have days where I want to be gone. I have days that I pray it's my last day on earth so that I don't have to deal with the stresses, the panic, the evil, the anxiety, the people that just don't want me around. And yes, we all know that there are people who don't want us around. There have been people who've always never wanted us around. High school bullies are one. So I want to talk to y'all about that. First and foremost, I was bullied in high school. Fuck that. I was bullied from grade school to middle school to high school and in college by adults. You know, some of them are law enforcement. You know who you are. Am I right or am I right? Yeah, that was a hint. Anyway, just in case you're watching, buddy, I still have your number. I still have um, leverage over you because officers of the law should not bully civilians. And then people wonder why people of color don't like cops. And a, you're also a vet who bullied another vet. You know? So yeah, you're a piece of work. And you had a baby recently. So like a couple of years back. So the baby's probably four. Just in case you're watching. Your life is in my hand. Because I could have reported you to your superiors any day of the week. But I figured you shoot yourself in the foot eventually. Because of your attitude. Am I right? Or am I right? Yeah. That, 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 that's a hint, just in case he's watching. Anyway, enough about, am I right? Now, I've been bullied for lots of things. So, this is my last day. It's appropriate for the things that I've gone through. Being mixed, you know, being bullied for being mixed, not being black enough, not being white enough, finding out that I'm native, not being native enough. I've been bullied for a lot of shit. Being too short, not getting enough pussy. Girls never giving me a second look. Girls calling me ugly all the time. And when people call you ugly enough times, you start to believe it. Alright? So I started to believe it. I'm okay with my ugliness because I once got my face burnt the fuck off. I've learned to live with what I have now. I learned to be grateful for what I have now. But when it came to the song, My Last Days, now, in the car, I'm good. You know, I'm good. But I was just thinking that when I was writing it in my head, you know, how bad off was I? You know, it's like I said, I will have these bouts of depression probably for the rest of my life 
until I can find a way to accept all of me and cure myself because the best cure for depression is not to get depressed. And for some people, that's a godsend that you've never been depressed, that you've never been down in the dumps, that you've never been where I am. And that's great. I pray you never have to deal with depression. However, there are a lot of us, and I'm a Gen Xer. We've been taught to just grab the bull by the horn, but sometimes, sometimes you can't. And I couldn't. So I'm hoping that anybody watching this video that suffers from depression understands that they are not alone. Sometimes, you know, I look at these dog tags and the future that I planned when I joined the Army. So the confession is simple. I joined the Army to commit suicide because my life was just that bad. I found family in the Army. Fusco's, low. The dude from the Navy whose name I can't remember. Drill Sergeant Robbins. Drill Sergeant Haynes. Drill Sergeant Aztec Warrior. Amisqua. Drill Sergeant Almberg. Bravo and Delta was my family. Versus my biological family. My family that loves me. Y'all know who you are. And I know who you are. My family that could care two shits. Y'all know who you are and I know who you are. My Bravo, my Delta brothers and sisters. These things mean everything to me. Why haven't I been wearing them? Because I want to get a choker and wear them up here. I've been through a lot. A whole fucking lot. Well, I'm not ashamed of who I am anymore. I am very happy at the life that I'm trying to build versus the life that I had. So you can change your future. You don't have to dwell in the past. You don't have to live down in the dumps. But you have to make that decision. And when you need help, you need to soldier the fuck up and get help. Like I gotta take these dogs out. So I'll make a second part to this if necessary. Thank you for watching. Be seeing me.